Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. There are some remarks regarding the shagwam made today during a police pass out in Embakasi. Remarks I want us to have a look at here for they are going to form the basis of our analysis and discussion right now. As I sat there and I watched you inspect the passing out parade in quick time with energy and vigor. I forgot temporarily and went back to the political world and I was just wondering as I saw your step in quick time, the energy, the vigor, and my mind was just wondering what would have been the future of our, milit of our parades for the military and discipline forces if things had gone the other way. <laughs> that is a story for another day. Yes. That's regarding the Shagwa. Regardi is coming out as a politician who always wants to politicize everything. If you listen to Regardi Gashagwa, anytime he gets an opportunity, he always tries to make the opportunity political. In this video, I want us to dissect those remarks by Regardi Gashagwa to see what Rigathi Gashagwa is up to and what he's trying to aim at. If you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. Rigathi is clearly aiming at Raila Odinga. He is trying to belittle Raila Odinga because of age. That's exactly what he's trying to do. And it's very unfortunate that he's doing that deliberately to place his ground on the mountain. It might be possible that Rigadi has studied his ground on the mountain and he knows that such kinds of reckless remarks and statements might be placing his ground on the mountain. And from the past elections, that might be true. So it's up to the mountain to wake up, to demand accountability from their leaders. Because it, it's coming out that these leaders are not actually accountable. They are not there to serve. They are just there to play on the emotions and the psychology of the people they are actually ruling. And I'm saying that because this government has been in power for slightly over 100 days. And in the 100 days, the government has performed below power. Instead of regarding the Shagwa, addressing the real issues facing Kenyans, he is busy talking about campaigns and about elections. Hmm? And that also exposes Rigadi as a leader, or rather Kenya Kwanza Brigade. They have not moved on from the campaigns and from the August elections. And that's very unfortunate. In the next two weeks, children will be going back to school. School fee has gone up. Parents will be forced to dig deeper into their pockets to send their children to school instead of regarding addressing such kind of issues, he is busy belittling Raila Odinga because of age. That's very unfortunate of Rigadi Gashagwa. And also listening to Rigadi Gashagwa in the recent days, Rigadi is coming out as a village chauvinist. In fact, Rigadi was just serving his first time as a member of parliament. From his remarks in the recent days, it's clear Rigadi's mentality is still a village mentality. He has not moved on from that Madeira 
kind of a mentality. Anytime he speaks, he seems to be speaking to his Madeira constituents in Nyeri County. And that's why now it's important for Kenyans that in the coming in the next coming elections, before you vote in a leader for a national office, look at the leader's track record. Is the leader mature enough to be a national leader? Because Rigandi is just confirming that an office cannot remove the, the villageness in a person. Kenyans should be very careful when electing leaders into national offices. The villageness in a person cannot be changed by an office. That's exactly what Rigathi is trying to reveal to Kenyans. And those remarks are really embarrassing on Rigathi Gashabwa. In fact, they are exposing him as just a village elder, a village leader, not a national leader at all. And yesterday, Jeremiah Kioni made some remarks insinuating that William Ruto is done with the Rigathi Gachagua. Going by the changes William Ruto made in his government. And I know William Ruto is a very happy man listening to Rigathi Gachagua making reckless statements because those are just helping Rigathi shoot himself on the foot because I'm sure Kenyans who are actually going through a lot of economic stress, listening to Rigathi consistently, referring to elections, talking of August elections, I strongly believe those Kenyans are hating Rigathi Gashagwa more. So as Rigathi opens, uh, opens his mouth to talk, Kenyans are hating him each passing day. He should actually settle down and deliver mm, Kenyans are not interested in side shows, in empty rhetorics. Rhetorics that are not helping or benefiting them in any way. Rigadi should sober up and start delivering. And also, if you look at William Ruto's government, I'm seeing a government that is completely confused, totally confused, starting with William Ruto himself. And now regarding the shower. These, these are people, who are, they are just, this is just comedy, ladies and gentlemen. This is a government full of comedy. William Ruto should be a symbol of national unity. And listening to regarding the shower talk, and even from the kind of appointments William Ruto also made in his government, it's coming out very clearly that this is a government that is not only confused, but a very tribal kind of a government. That comes out very, very clearly. And even from those remarks again, you are seeing Rigardi just also trying to please William Samoy Ruto. He is trying to be a psychophant. And that's also deliberate because maybe his ground wants that. And that's why I still repeat, the mountain ground should wake up. They, de they should demand accountability from their leaders. Mm -hmm. Leaders should not just be there entertaining them with empty rhetorics. Leaders should be delivering. That's also something coming out very, very clearly. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. But just as I did indicate when we were starting, if you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humble, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Any other person who wants to support our channel, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to channel your support to the number. Those remarks are an embarrassment to Rigadi Gashagwa and also an embarrassment to William Ruto's government. This is a government full of drama and useless rhetorics at the expense of service delivery 
to Kenyans. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.